Hey everyone, hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at dewound motors and we're going to relate dewound motors to exactly what kind of timing do they appreciate and like. And we're looking from a performance perspective here. Now, several weeks ago on the channel, we did a video discussing performance variations and differences between the Y wound motor as well as the D wound motor. Just a very quick review of the Y wound motor. In a Y wound motor, all the termination points of each phase come together and they actually produce what is known as a neutral point in that wiring there. Now in a typical brushless motor, this neutral point is not relevant to us. We don't need to use it. In fact, we're only gonna use the other end of the termination points which lead to three connectors. And those are the connectors that we end up running to our electronic speed control. Now when it comes to a delta, wound motor, each end is going to be connected to an actual connector. Now you have six ends that you can use between three different phases. So each one of those ends is going to be tied onto a connector and then you're gonna have overlap so that there are two different phases that are using the same connector. So then you still get three wires that come out from that type of wind as you can see here in the diagram. Now what we looked at specifically was the performance differences that you get from a Y versus a delta wound motor. And truth be told, there really isn't much of a difference between those types of winds. And if you remember, we also said that there is a subtle difference when it does come to timing. That's what we're gonna be discussing in this very video. Now, another video that we just did last week deals with timing. And we went through some of the specifics on timing and we looked at some experiments where we did a couple dynos. And in those dyno runs, we saw that we can get better performance from increasing the timing within our setups. However, that performance difference really isn't much. It would be the same as taking a 100 mile per hour radio controlled vehicle and getting after changing timing from low to high on a sensorless speed control, we would get 101.36 kilometers an hour or thereabouts. More than likely, if we just took that pinion gear and went up a tooth in our size, we are going to get more speed than the 101.36 kilometers an hour that you'd otherwise get by changing the timing. So at the end of the day, there really isn't much of a difference when it comes to increasing timing from low to high on a brushless motor. Now this is where we come into this very video because it is very important if you own and operate a dewound motor. And it's even more important for you if you operate a very high performance dewound motor. How do you know what a high performance dewound motor is? Well, this is where the turn counts are essentially somewhere around one turn. This is going to be a hot wind, especially in a larger brushless motor. And these are capable of several hundred amps of power and several hundred amps of continuous power even. This is what is known as a hot setup for most radio control vehicles. Now here's the thing, when it comes to timing for a D wound motor, you essentially don't want anything to do with timing. Zero degrees or set it to low, and this is going to be the best that you can do for a D wound motor. D wound motors do not really respond well in general to timing. Now that you know that, the next question that you're gonna ask is how do I know what kind of wind termination that my specific brushless motor has? We're gonna jump onto a website here and what you can see just in the name here alone is the type of termination that is taking place for each one of these brushless motors. One thing to note here is that not all manufacturers are going to specify the termination type of their motor and this is something that you may have to go and reach out to the manufacturer to inquire about this type of information. Or what you can do is just place that motor into your radio control vehicle. You can alter the timing and then take a look at the performance that you get out of that specific motor as well as the temperatures that you're reading of the motor. The most important thing is that we're not exceeding any thermal thresholds for any of our electrical components on our radio controlled vehicle. We want to make sure that the batteries, the ESC and the brushless motor are all operating within their maximum temperature threshold. 
A good way to measure performance for a radio control vehicle when you're changing timing is to look at the speed of that radio control vehicle using the same type of passes. If you're not seeing any difference in performance there or the speed is not increasing, even if it's getting worse, this is a sign that's telling you and suggesting to you that you may actually have a de-wound motor. Another point that I do want to add here is don't just take it from me. Let's head over to a manufacturer's website and read the quote that they place on their website. This is what I want to read to you. It comes under a question here of will timing advance make me king of the strip? This is related to drag racing. And specifically, we're gonna start reading from this line here, but what about timing advance on a D-wound motor? Set the ESC to low or auto mode. Timing makes no performance improvement in the system. Changing timing for a D-wind motor will negatively affect performance. If you want higher KV motor, just order a higher KV motor. Timing advance is only for the Y-wind, and even then, it's only a patch. That's the comment from the motor manufacturer. The biggest point here to be made is that a D-wound motor doesn't really provide you with any sort of advantage if you are going to start changing the timing. Well guys, if you have a D-wound motor, make sure that you are setting your timing as suggested to either zero or low. It's gonna allow you to get the maximum amount of performance. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.